All right, now switching gears once again, and top government officials say all measures to ensure the safety of students are in place as schools reopen for the first term this year tomorrow. Well, the officials, including State Department PS Paul Maringa, spoke to Ngara Girls Nairobi after assessing the damage caused by a fire at the institution last night. Mm. Thankfully, no one was injured in the inferno. Mm. About 8 p.m. Saturday evening at Ngara Girls High School in Stare constituency, these firefighting engines were rushed in to help put out a fire that had broken out in one of the dormitories. Gripped by panic, parents and the neighboring community here camped outside the school's main entrance as they engaged officials demanding to go in. They, however, were not allowed past this gate. And after a short while, Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed said there was no cause for alarm. Officials have ruled out closure of the school, saying the institution is ready to receive all students on Monday. I've just said now that we lost, we lost some properties. Okay, there you go. I think, I think the other parents have answered you, that the girls are safe and that is the only thing that's important, yes. The school management issued a statement yesterday saying that the fire broke out a few minutes before 7 p.m. in Emerald Dormitory. Property of unknown value was destroyed with students' personal property such as mattresses and boxes going up in flames. State Department's peers Paul Maringa now says the government will ensure all students are safe as they resume their studies this year. He says plans are underway to ensure fire drills are performed in all government institutions every year. We don't want to start a, 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 a year with school fires. So as government we've actually been planning. We've been planning, we've been uh, having a lot of discussions with the Ministry of Education and in principle we have decided in our short meeting here today that um, the investigation will go on, all the samples will be collected in the next one and a half days so we can fully establish the cause of the fire and the reason for that is not so that we can point fingers at one another, it's so that we can guide the school on safety standards, how to avoid these sort of fires in future. Last year, at least 17 schools were hit by student unrest that saw dormitories and other assets raised down. On September 2, 2017, a fire tragedy at Moi Girls, Nairobi, claimed the lives of 11 girls. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.